in December of 2012, I received a notice from the manager of the grocery outlet I was working at that we were getting a new member of our overnight crew scheduled to be in the following night. The crew, who consisted of myself and several others, all worked together for quite some time and we all grew into good friends. So, the next night, it's myself and two others on schedule when the new guy comes in. I already knew his name to be Cole, so I immediately went up to introduce myself and all that jazz before showing him around and telling him exactly what to expect on any given night. Surprisingly, he seemed to be a quick learner. Not that this shit is complicated, but it can be a bit tricky at first. But never asked any questions or made comments, almost acting if he either knew what he was being told or that he wasn't interested. Being the supervisor, I was pretty much the authority, but I never used it. Everyone was used to a loud atmosphere as we would play music and yell a lot. It helped us keep awake and somewhat energized. As I tried to break him in, Cole didn't seem interested, preferring to work alone and not take part in our antics. As time went on, his work began to falter. Soon, he began to slow down and disappear to the back of the store for a while to do whatever, then return an hour or so later. But I always figured he was being productive and left him alone. What did surprise me though, was when Cole would use a box cutter. He wouldn't cut off the tape, but instead he would stab the boxes and rip them open. I told him to be careful, but he merely gave me a shrug each time. One day, the manager called me and asked me to talk about how Cole's been doing at night. I told him about how he became slower with his work and seemed much less interested, seemingly doing the bare minimum to just get by. He suggested that I talk to him, and I agreed. Three nights later, it's just another employee named Brad and myself on schedule. After doing the usual stuff for a while, it was finally break time. We decided to walk over to the gas station nearby and buy some stuff for our lunch break. As we got back, I noticed that the entrance door was left open. Shit, that's not good. Must have forgotten to close it, but Brad said that he did. That's odd. We head inside and continue working until lunch break. We're sitting in the break room eating and chatting when we both simultaneously heard something that sounded like one of the freights moving. It happened again shortly thereafter, so I got up to check it out while Brad stayed inside the break room. I got out to the sales floor and noticed that one of the freights had moved a few feet away from where I had left it originally. Also. Some merchandise had fallen off and was lying on the ground. I began to put the stuff back on the freight when I heard Brad yell my name. Completely used to yelling, I casually walked back towards the break room to meet up with Brad. He pointed towards the emergency exit and said that someone had just walked out, but the alarm didn't go off. I jogged up to it and peered outside and saw nothing. At first, I thought this was a joke. I laughed it off and told him to stop fucking with me, but he insisted. I went out of the emergency door and walked around the store, but saw no one. I came back in through the front entrance and met up with Brad once again near the break room. What did scare me though? was when Brad and I walked up to the emergency exit 
Brad suddenly turned around and saw somebody walking. He nudged me and I had just turned around to barely see the person walk towards the freezer and around the corner, which was all the way on the opposite end of the back store area. I ran to catch up with whoever it was, but didn't see anyone when I turned the corner. The freezer was locked, so whoever it was couldn't have gotten inside unless they have a key. But only I have the single key. Brad came up to me and asked if I believed him now. I certainly said that I did. Who could be in the store? And how did they get in? I then thought of the left open entrance from earlier and the fact that the emergency exit door alarms were disabled. It must be someone who either works here or is aware of our movements and the alarm system. We headed back to the sales floor to investigate some more. Nothing was knocked off of the shelves, nor was the freight moved this time. I walked up near the front entrance and peered out a window towards the parking lot, but saw nobody. But then, as I turned towards the front entrance, I saw somebody walking from the parking lot to the back side of the store. This time, I recognized the person. It was... Cole. What the fuck? He's not supposed to be working. I yelled out to Brad, who came up to me as I told him that Cole's outside and he's heading towards the back side of the store. He nods and runs off while I follow. We waited by the emergency exits for about five minutes, but Cole never entered. I yelled out to Brad to head out to the sales floor while I'd stayed back here. I could hear him run off as I stayed by the emergency exit. Out of nowhere, I turned around suddenly and saw Cole standing about 20 feet from me with a box cutter in his hand. I watched on as he glared at me. How the fuck did he end up behind me? I asked him what the fuck he was doing there and that this wasn't funny. He didn't seem to pick up on that though. Finally, when he did move, it was to position the box cutter in an upwards cutting position like he was going to stab my chest or something, but he eventually lowered it down and spoke to me. Tell the manager I quit. Cole then turned, put the box cutter in his pocket, then walked towards the opposite end, once again towards the freezer, and turned the corner, disappearing. I stood there in shock for about a minute when Brad came running back to me. He asked if I saw Cole, and I told him that I did, heading off towards the freezer. Brad asked what we should do, and I told him what happened, but insisted we just let it go for now. I waited until the manager arrived a couple of hours later and told him that Cole had told me he had quit, but didn't go into any detail. I decided not to tell the manager about what happened, nor any of the other co-workers for that matter. I didn't want to escalate this any further than it already had. It wasn't until Brad said something that the police became involved, and then I learned after talking with the authorities that Cole has a mental health record and I should have reported what happened and not kept it a secret, regardless of my reasoning. <laughs>